Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, we're bringing you a special COVID update, and we want to go directly to the board. Over the last uh, seven days, we've seen uh, quite an outbreak here in Pinellas County. The Center for Disease Control is reporting that the transmission rate in Pinellas County may be as high as 23%. go back and clean up all this immune from what is happening within the broader county and of course the state as well the situation here at Regency Oaks currently is we have six residents who are COVID positive four in the south and two in the north there are 14 residents who are under quarantine over the last three days we've been seeing between three and four new cases a day we have identified one spreader event and potentially a second one but what appears to be happening at this point is we are seeing a resident on resident spread that is occurring the staffing situation here at regency oaks appears to be stable we've not had a new case among the staff in over seven days so in keeping with uh, our discussion over the last couple of weeks. Uh, we are coming up with a, a proactive approach to try to stop the spread. Uh, we need to take a five to 10 day pause and do a reset. We wanna see if we can stop the spread in its track. Here's how we do that. We stop mobility. Mobility is moving around on campus, both residents and uh, associates. We isolate, we maintain uh, social distancing by tight isolation and essentially go into a, a localized quarantine. We limit the exposure risk by reducing the opportunity to have spreader events. So what will change? Mask wearing has already gone from recommended to required. At this point, both staff and residents are going to be required to wear a mask uh, if you are in a common area. All guests, uh, families, visitors will be stopped at the front desk and screened. They will use the AccuShield system, which includes a temperature check and a screening to review symptoms. Large group activities, those with 10 or more people, will be eliminated. The dining rooms will shut down and go to meal delivery. The meal delivery will start on Saturday and run through Sunday, the 22nd of August. This afternoon, the dining team will distribute menus for the next eight days. Uh, these menus should be completed by the residents and returned to dining services and the first uh, delivered meals will occur on Saturday starting at three o'clock. Those delivered meals will include uh, breakfast items and uh, a full evening meal. The dining rooms will continue to be open today, Friday, uh, for both lunch and dinner, but dinner this evening will be the last meal served in the dining room. The tavern will be closed effective at the end of business on Friday. Housekeeping in the apartments will cease at the end of the day, Friday. And next week, housekeeping will not be in any residential apartments with the exception of a change of linens, which is going to be provided uh, one time. Emergency work orders will be the only ones performed during the next eight days. Emergency work orders are anything related to water, air conditioning, or electricity. I know no one is going to be excited about these changes, 
but it does give us the best opportunity to get control of the spread, to isolate folks for a brief period of time. Uh, in this case, it's an eight day period where we will be able to uh, practice better social distancing, stop the resident to resident spread, limit the exposure, uh, and try to get a handle on this uh, uh, in-house outbreak. It's important for you to know what to look for. If you are feeling ill uh, or suspect that you may have COVID, here are some of the things that you should look for. The most prevalent symptom that we are seeing with the D the most prevalent symptom that we're seeing with the Delta variant is the loss of taste and smell. It is also the first symptom that you will see with the Delta variant. It is even ahead of fever or chills. Uh, look also for a cough or sore throat, fatigue, muscle or body aches, a headache, congestion or a runny nose, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. If any of these symptoms are occurring, please notify the wellness nurse or the front desk for immediate reaction. What we all can do or practice to prevent the spread, good social distancing. Wash your hands frequently for 20 seconds with soap and water and the water should be warm. Wear your mask. Avoid congested areas. If you are ill, stay home. If you don't feel good, tell someone. Seek early medical intervention. That can be the difference between moderate symptoms and more severe. I know this is not the news that all of us were uh, hoping to hear but it is something that we can get through together. It's not a permanent change uh, where no one is anticipating that this is going to develop into eight days to two weeks to a month to multiple months. Uh, this is in keeping with our approach of a blitzing approach. We're going to attack the problem. We're gonna stop it right there in its tracks and then be able to reopen and move forward. So I really appreciate your support uh, and your diligence in keeping others safe. Practice that good social distancing and we'll get through this together. The one other thing that I did want to briefly mention, uh, this weekend we are going to see some tropical uh, storm force winds and water. We've evaluated this pretty thoroughly and believe that this is primarily a water event. Uh, the winds are minimal, but we can anticipate uh, six to eight inches of rainfall uh, on Saturday afternoon. The staff is prepared for it. We're ready and standing by. Uh, there's nothing we are asking of residents at this point, uh, and we think this is, again, just going to be a, a heavy rainfall event for Regency Oaks. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.